Hi, it's Norma's for, from Norma's Art Creations. And tonight I'm going to do a small canvas, a round canvas, 10 inch. And I'm gonna dedicate this to my great grandson that's gonna turn two this next year. His name is Patrick Crew Sanchez and we call him Crew. So I'm going to use the colors. He likes uh, blue, navy blue and white. He also likes Dallas Cowboys. He also likes Texas Tech Red Raiders, so I didn't want to do black and red. So the colors that I'm using tonight are Thalo Blue, the Master's Touch. I'm using the Ultramarine Blue, Master's Touch. I'm going to touch with the uh, Thalo Blue. I'm going to put a little black in it to make it more as a navy blue. I'm going to use the Master's Touch that's already mixed as a sapphire blue. And then I'm going to put a little bit of gray, uh, it's a silver, a metallic silver in there to give it some shine. And then I'm going to use white. So I'm going to mix them up and then we'll get started. So as you can see, I'm moving the, the paint around very slowly. 
I do want it to go off the canvas. That's why the first ones that you actually uh, put in there go off the canvas. But I'm got, I don't want to lose my center, so you can see that I'm just moving it back toward the center, and I'm going slow to move it off. I didn't put any white paint on the edge of this. Uh, if I had of, it would have moved the paint a little bit easier off. So sometimes what you can do to get the paint to move off is you can just help it by touching it a little bit and uh, in stubborn spots. And it will, because once it goes off, it actually follows that paint. So we're going to turn it around and try to get some of it to, to go off over here. So you can see it's going off. And we're coming back to the center. And we're going to move it over here this way to come off. Come back to the center. Move it over here, off. And come back to the center. And over here. I don't want to lose the whole thing, so you always you always try to bring it back to the center, and um, and then you can keep your center. I'll be coming in and what they call wrecking. Uh, by taking a stick and moving it through the center anyway um, gives it a, a neat effect. So these edges are getting very, very, very pretty. But I don't want to lose that center area, so I'm trying to come through uh, slowly and uh, move the paint. And all I'm doing right now is just kind of going around and and checking it. We've got one spot over here that needs to needs to get covered. Just take my finger and it'll it'll cover it. Okay, so now we're gonna let it sit for a minute and I'm going to put some color back in and I'm going to do what they call wrecking and I'm going to do that with a uh, not a stick I'm going to use that with a popsicle stick Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of white back into the center, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put that uh, black and, and the phthalo blue in there. I'm also going to put a little sapphire because sapphire is really pretty. Sapphire might be the color that I continue to put in there to do the wrecking. So I'm taking a clean popsicle and I might need to put some white in there. So we'll see.
Yeah, I like that with the white. So I think I put a dab of white in there and, and uh, come through with the white. Okay, let's try that again. And also, you can give it a spin, which gives it a different which gives it a different look also. I think I like this better without the um, that blue blue in there. I think if I had the just the phthalo blue, the silver and the white, I might like this better. So I'll probably do another one for him. Uh, with those colors and not do the um, not do the um, that blue blue um, the ultramarine blue I think uh, I think that was um, too blue it might have been the sapphire blue but um, it was too blue anyway crew this is yours and hopefully a grandma will get you a great grandma will get you another a one uh, so that it will be um, more blue. Okay, so this is a little eight inch uh, canvas and I want to, I have a lot of paint left, so I decided that I'm just going to do another one and I'm going to leave out that middle blue and I'm going to end with the silver uh, last because it seems to be overpowering. Uh, it's very pretty, but it's not Dallas Cowboys colors. So we're going to start again with the white. And this time I'm going to put a little bit of white on the edges so that it can actually run off the edge. So I'm just going to Swing this around where I have, and it helps the paint move a little bit when it has the white on the edge. So I have it all around the edge so it will will go off. Okay, now we're going to start with that phthalo blue.
So tonight I'm going to be using a 12 by 12 square that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's a fine touch. And also the letter C that I also got from Hobby Lobby. On the back of this uh, canvas, I, you can see I've taped it. I've sprayed water to make it taunt and it makes it sound like a drum. You want your canvas very tight and I've put my push pins. Now, seniors, I'm going to give you a little hint. Get you a little hammer and press these pins down because it's very hard to push them in and you want them straight. Now, this canvas, it's not going to be so much important to have it level. It will be once we press it because we're going to put the paint down and we're going to press it down here. We're going to press it down and then lift it up like this. And you'll see then where I put it after that is needs to be level. So I still need to take the level and put it just to make sure the pins are uh, there. So let's take the level. It's not quite level. So I think that this little handy tool I got on Amazon, it's a little round level that you can put in the middle of your canvas, but it, it, uh, that's good enough. That's almost right in the middle. The that we're going to use tonight are Sapphire uh, Master's Touch. The Silver Master's Touch, the Ultramarine Blue Master's Touch, the Thalo Blue Master's Touch, and the Sky Blue Master's Touch, and the White. So I'm going to set these aside. I've already cut a piece of bubble wrap. I also saved my bubble wrap for my packages. I get a lot of blues on my hands, so when I'm using the blue. Okay, I'm going to get the bubble wrap out. And I'm going to set this canvas aside for a few minutes, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at where my canvas is. And you can even mark it, you know, on your on your board a little bit. I, I don't have my board, my heavy board underneath here, but I have... A solid table so I think it'll be fine so I'm gonna look at my uh, I could even put a, a teeny piece of just to give me an idea of where this is because I want to go beyond my canvas so I could even put a little little paint out there okay so I'm gonna start and I don't know that I want to start with the bees the two different kinds of uh, ones that you can start with is the V's, and it comes out with, a, it looks like this. Then if you kind of squiggle it, it can look like this. You can turn it around, and it's very pretty. So I think for a, a young man, I don't think we need the V's. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of move it and I'm even going to try to kind of put a C in here and see what that works like. So the consistency of the paint is a little bit thicker than my wave.
So now I set that as, uh, behind me uh, so that it could dry level. And now I'm just going to drizzle a little bit more color on here and dip the, his C in it. And I want to go with some dark color because I have a lot of the bright blues in there. And I'm just going to drizzle some down through the C because I have a C. I need to get up here where it's going to go and down here. So making sure that I've got enough paint where that C is going to be. And a little bit more of the blue in. And I think I'm going to end it with the gray because the silver. Because I really like the silver. It, it gives it a and the one you end, end up with is the one that's going to be on top. So I'm going to take his C. And this is going to be upside down for me. So, okay. And I'm just going to push it into the paint. And I want to get it nice and squished because I want the sides. So I'm trying to push that down into the paint. And try to get the sides covered also. I have lots of paint here. Now these letters come in black and they come in white. And because of the dark color, I thought it might be good to go with black. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. And I'm not going to try to touch the sides right now because I could mess it up. I can come back in and, and touch up the sides in a little bit. I have a, a, an S that belonged to my daughter. And her school colors are actually these colors. So I had dipped it with the gold, and she said she would have preferred the silver. So her S is a little bit smaller. I've got lots of, lots of color left. So I'm going to dip it in here. Getting it out of the paint is a, a nice challenge without getting your fingers completely all over it. Oh, and that's pretty. That's got her school colors. And that'll be prettier for her than the gold. So I'm going to set that aside. And that's what it is tonight and uh, after they dry I'll bring them down to show you uh, close up. Well as you can see the sea turned into a wave. Uh, it's really pretty as I was trying to get the bubbles out I moved the uh, painting and it wasn't level so the sea disappeared so I decided to just dip it again and it really came out pretty. I love this much more than even the sea. And it's still got some bubbles and I'm trying to get the bubbles out with the butane torch. So if you don't get the bubbles out, then they pop and then you have a white spot on your canvas. So I don't want that. So I'm, I'm trying to move uh, where I see bubbles and I get them popped so that we don't have it. It's very, very pretty. I like this and sometimes Things start out one way and they end up another way and uh, I think that this will be very pretty in his room. Well, this has been a uh, challenging pour. Uh, starting out with the round circles that actually look too girlish for crew. And I did end up with a nice C for his room. And I think this would be a very nice uh, painting to go with the C uh, to complement it. It isn't navy and white. It is kind of Dallas cowboy colors. 
So, but I want to wish you a Merry Christmas to the Sanchez's crew, Megan and Bobby. And have a good evening. If you like what I have done, please hit the like and subscribe so that I can get 100 subscribers because I'm trying to get my own channel. Have a very Merry Christmas. Let me take you down and let you see the uh, close-up of the three circles. This was the strainer pour trying to get navy blue and white with a little bit of silver and blue in there. This was the eight inch round. This was the first, this was the 10 inch round. And it's got really pretty colors in the silver and you can see the white, it, it, it is very pretty. I'm not for sure it's too boyish though. And then this third one, actually I really like, it almost looks like a rose. Then the square one, where I just did a uh, pour, is really pretty. And then his C, you can see the silver and the white.